So today we have this beautiful 2014 Ford Raptor SVT 6.2. Why it's a SVT? That's a good question. That's a special vehicle team. This car only has 411 horsepower and since it's uh, 2014 90,000 miles on it right now so it might have a little bit less horsepower but I don't think so. There is a second edition. It's a Rouge edition. You can buy it from the factory back in the day so I think it was about 13, 14,000 more for the, for the truck. So you're gonna get supercharged Rouge edition. And so from the trucks, what available right now, what you can buy for that kind of money. For example, this truck, 35,000, 35,000, what are you gonna buy? You're gonna buy Chevy uh, Silverado, it's not the same. What about the Rebel, for example? Rebel, it's not the same. TRX, you cannot buy it for that money. So basically your choice, if you wanna buy a nice truck, it's super, Super nice looking truck, not wrapped as black right now. Honestly, I don't like it, but that's what I got and I don't want to take the film out just to show you to you how nice is a beige color, you can Google it. But that's the point about this truck. Back in the days, 2014, there is nothing was available as a super nice racing truck. And the Ford, they've been doing that Lightning Ford and Harley Davidson, those nice kind of trucks back in the days. Nobody was doing that. <clears throat> I'm not talking about the small portion of the trucks, what they've been doing once so or not so many, but the production line for the Lightning, it was kind of huge. So basically SVT Raptor, it was a kind of third generation of the sport trucks for the Fords. And TRX right now, it is available, you can buy it. It's a great truck, I love it a lot, but the money-wise, it is a totally different. And uh, for example, again, you do have a 35,000, you wanna buy the nice truck. So what you can buy, you can buy GMC, you can buy the Chevy Silverado, maybe something newer. You might gonna buy F-150 with turbo EcoBoost engine. Again, it's not the same. TRX, you cannot buy it. So your choice is gonna be Raptor 6.2 SVT. So engine gonna last forever, I think so. Just do the maintenance on time, maybe 90,000 miles. I don't think somebody changed the spark plug. So for example, 100,000 miles, I would do the new spark plugs, you know, all the filters, fluids, in the differentials, in the transmission. And this thing, it's gonna last more than 200,000. That's for sure guarantee because I can feel it number one. And number two, constantly, I can see at the auction 2011, 14, uh, 13, they come in with 250, 270,000 miles constantly. So the people driving it, and I'm telling you, the people not doing maintenance on time on those trucks for sure, and they still surviving. But it's basically built for the heavy usage for the long period of time without worrying about your engine gonna blow up tomorrow. So let's see under the hood. I want to show you the engine. How small is that engine actually? Even it's a V8 6.2. But if you're gonna compare with 5.4, smaller kind of engine, almost one liter smaller. But still, there is a lot of space under the hood, and I think that's one of the point why this engine not getting overheated so often. So the body of F-150 Raptor, it's kind of exactly the same as a regular 150. You can see the white front and white end of the truck. So again, that's one of the points why I don't like all the wraps, because when you get in the car wrapped and the people telling you, whoever you're doing the wrapped with, they tell you, oh, that's a high performance, the super nice 3M film. It's not. Look, it's already faded here and there. I have no idea when they wrap it, but all this kind of stuff drying out and it's gonna be really hard to take it out. So if I'm gonna to try to take it out, this thing might gonna stuck on the paint and I have to damage the paint and after I have to paint it, that's kind of bullshit. What about the body itself? So the bumper, the front end, it is a different, the suspension, that's what making this car super nice to drive and kind of uncomparable with any other trucks from the factory because you can take it, like I say, to Pismo Beach and just, you know, jump over there, nothing gonna happen. We do have a Fox suspension. Look at the control arms, they like huge. There is a, there is a huge cover for the engine. Again, it's coming from the factory, so it's not like somebody installed it. You can install even more, but for now, it's built the way you're supposed to go and do off-roading right away. That's the same way as the Subaru STI build. So the Subaru STI build for the rally, you basically can buy STI and take it for a rally and it's gonna hold that. So under the hood, that's this beautiful engine. 
And like I said, there is a lot of space, extra space for the air to cool it down, the radiators, all that kind of stuff. Easy to replace the battery, even easy to replace the alternator. It's sitting right on the top of the engine and you can do it yourself with no problem at all. The filters you can replace it, maybe spark plugs you can do it yourself. But I think nothing else this car needs from you. Radiators, I mean, if you do have some knowledge about the car, you want to work yourself to take it out, maybe the front of the car, like the cassette, together with all the radiators and replace one or hoses or do some maintenance, fix the oil leak, clean it, whatever you want to do. Ford, somehow they made it from the factory accessible from all the points. Even the oil change because the car is lifted so you can go under the car, drain it, buy it from the outer zone and just replace it yourself. It's all easy and simple. So the oil, it takes regular 520. There is no recommendation, no super specification about what's supposed to be there like super performance uh, oil from the Ford no it's not 520 the way it is just put it there new filter every five six thousand miles that's what I would do but ten thousand I think is gonna last with no problem that's the super nice uh, Challenger going so fast even this engine from my experience because I had experience with Ford F-150 regular one it can go under the water maybe up to the engine because the PCM, what they did, they put it on the top of the firewall. So basically, it's kind of protected from the water. It's not protected from the corrosion. So if you get in the car from, I don't know, New York or maybe Colorado, some other states, for some reason, the PCM getting corroded inside. And the Ford, it's... Um, has a common issue with PCM. So sometimes you might gonna see your uh, auto sensor light on, I mean, check engine light on for the auto sensor and uh, you replace an auto sensor, the light is still on, it's not going away or your monitor is not getting ready. And uh, some most of the time on the old Fords, I have no idea about the newer one, but most of the time the older one, they do have a problem with PCM. So basically resistance going bad and you can replace that or you can buy the PCM and reprogram it with two keys and that and that and that. But Ford, it's, one of the like i would say common problem coming to the pcm so it's not it's not the engine not the sensor itself it is a pcm it is super kind of sensitive if you get in the car from not california that's again from my experience you might have a different experience or opinion just type it below say i'm not right or say i am right and you had the exactly same thing so let's finish with under the hood i don't want to go with specification about the engine uh you can google it i'm just telling you from my experience from my feeling right now the way the car feels the f the car feeling right now not like brand new but super tight super nice and um, no problem at all that's amazing 10 years old car so usually ford i always see the kind of step like this on the f250 f350 i think on the raptor they put this step side for the bed just because it's lifted from the factory. If you, uh, honestly, I'm trying to remember if I see any F-150 with the same setup, but I cannot remember. So what's going on here, usually, basically, we do have this step and we do have this handle. What is that for? You're right, that's for the easy access in the bed. So that's the 6.2 Raptor, that's the real one. I mean, uh, right now you're not gonna find a V8 6.2 engine that's usually, not usually, they comes as, as a 3.5 EcoBoost twin turbo, but it's not the same, just, just hear the sound. And that's the original exhaust, so everybody can hear something big and really powerful coming next to you or behind you. That's the amazing car, I mean, the engine probably not gonna last forever, but 250 to 80,000 miles. I did see those cars at the auction and they still exist. And um, as they claim it, the Ford claim it itself, this engine gonna go half million with no problem at all. And that's what I can probably tell because the short block on this car, it's iron, it's not aluminum one. So it's a, uh, it's really heavy built engine uh heat resistant so i don't think the head gasket problem is going to be 
uh, is going to be anytime soon on this car. The things like alternator, uh, maybe starter, maybe the cooling system like a thermostat or radiator might going to go bad again, but I don't think so. The space between the radiator and the engine, it's huge. So basically the car getting a lot of air to cool the engine down. What about the... Uh, what about MPG? So right now I'm driving, I mean, I'm driving like a crazy this car and I'm getting about 11, 12 MPG in a city. It's not bad at all. Plus I do have a lot of power under my foot. That's cool. I mean, it is feeling like really nice truck. It's lifted. We do have original Fox suspension. So what I can do, I can take it to Pismo Beach and just drive it on a high speed maybe jump a little bit and nothing gonna happen with the suspension that's what the car was built for basically i think they build it to take it to baja california and uh, drive it 24 hours with no problem that's what the car designed for and you probably see a lot of different things on this car like the people doing uh different upgrades putting the wheels uh extra wheels in the trunk area and on and on and on so this is the original 6.2 svt raptor so it's not the rouge edition there is a rouge edition the supercharge gonna give you 150 horsepower more uh only thing from rouge i see here that's the exhaust tailpipes i have no idea if the whole exhaust is rouge or it's just the tailpipes uh i didn't check under the car and the intake on this car it says rouge so and it's not the Chinese one, so that's the original. I think it might came from the factory. What I don't like about this car right now, I don't like the wheels and tires. So they put empty tires and not original rims. Original rims much better than nicer. Uh, I don't know why people doing that, why they swapping the original nice tires. They've been designed, they've been engineered for this car from the factory. So they are designed like to take all that heavy, uh jumps you know from the car because it's heavy and they put in this chinese aftermarket rims and especially on those tires i do not know and the second thing i don't like about this truck that's the wrap so basically the car wrapped as a flat black but the original color is beige so beige it's the most desirable car on this raptor because again these cars they going up in the price so more and more people understanding right now 3.5 ecoboost number one it's not enough for the truck to be the super uh race or whatever rally truck sport truck right so 3.5 it's not enough kind of engine it has a lot of boost but it's not gonna last forever so the eco boost always getting the problem with phasers number one number two the turbo might gonna leak or might not gonna work so there is a lot of different things what might gonna cause you loss of power on the turbo engine 6.2 engine nothing just give me the air just give me the flu i mean the uh, fuel and do the oil change maybe once in seven eight thousand miles and i'm gonna be really good that's what's going on with this car so 90,000 miles 2014 almost 10 years old truck it feels so nice it's tight the steering wheel suspension it's all in amazing condition and um uh, every bump i'm going over i cannot hear something broken or something wrong with the suspension or the steering or motor mount transmission mount doesn't matter it's just solid nice truck that's the amazing i mean usually again 2014 15 f150 even the platinum king range doesn't matter those truck people not using for work they using for uh daily driving those trucks they need some attention here and there and there but 6.2 raptor needs zero attention from me right now and that's again that's just amazing the steering wheel we do have a red spot in the middle and you probably all know what is that for so number one uh the same steering wheel they are using for the drift cars so basically you always going to see where the center of the wheels and number two but for this truck they use it because it's a kind of heavy off-road truck so you can take it to the dunes you know go through the sand or go through the dirt so every time you like stuck in the mud somewhere you're doing spinning trying to pull yourself out so you have to know if your wheel straight or not and that's kind of thing so on the top of all that thing with engine transmission suspension this is 
heavy equipped car for 2014 number one we do have a cameras 360 actually camera or oh, no no we do have a front camera and back camera so we do have a navigation we have a satellite radio we have a heated seats climate control i mean you name it xenon light and it is original and on and on and on moonroof power uh, power leather seats and all that kind of stuff so basically it's not just a truck it's a nice daily daily driver if you are available to pay that money for the gas because the gas the gas just you know disappearing from your tank and you can see it every time you step on a pedal is it comfortable to drive this truck it is really comfortable number one you sitting on the top of everyone so you you can see what's going on on the left and the right behind you you can see what's going on right in front of you in front of those cars what's parked or standing in front of you that's that's super safe i think how many how many times you see the trucks get in an accident uh if you're going to compare with like tesla model 3 it's not that many so basically in my opinion trucks especially lifted one but solid lifted not the shitty lifted the solid lifted trucks they are more comfortable and they are more safer to drive especially in the city because you are aware of everything what's going on around you and it's super cool plus people who's driving next to you they see you driving crazy truck and it's lifted heavy making a lot of noise so what they want to do they just want to they just want to step on the side and let you go whatever you're doing they don't want you to be involved in accident with them because i mean the brain kind of working even if you are the shitty driver right so you're driving the honda for example and uh you want to be number one so you're trying to cut everyone you're not doing uh, uh turn signal lights and you see the truck going on a high speed for sure you're gonna let the truck go just because your brain understand in case of accident the truck has more chances to survive instead of the honda civic take my point and uh, use it so what about equipment so we do have like i say navigation we have a serious exam uh usb bluetooth and all that kind of stuff so the sound system on this car it's actually nice it is a sony we do have a sync microsoft it's always been on all all the ford since 2010 i think 2011 maybe ford focuses fusions you name it so we do have a auxiliary buttons here so what you can do it's it's empty right now there is nothing there is nothing here but it is coming from the factory so basically if you want to put light bars one on the bottom one on the top of the car one in the middle you can do so if you want to do some other lights you can do that or maybe you have some additional uh things to put on the car and basically the switches those aux switches it's again it came from the work truck so they are prepared they are ready from the factory with different kind of buttons and they all connected and there is wires you can find it and connect some other things wherever you want to put additional on the car so we do have a mod off-road mode so basically off-road mode i think it's gonna lock uh mid differential because four by four and the rear differential we do have a switch right there and the off-road mode i never use it i have no idea what it is but in my opinion the your speed gonna go down and it might gonna go to a low again we do have a low here so maybe it's gonna lock the uh, <coughs> middle differential that's all it does compartments there is a lot of million different compartments cup holders everywhere so basically they want you to drink in the car but same time they want you to go off-road so i don't know space on the back since it's a crew cap oh i can see the sunny uh subwoofer under the back seat so it is a crew cap would you have a, a lot of space on the back this car if you're going to check the history of that 2010 when it just came out as a raptor they had extended cap with small door on the back plus they used to have two different engines 6.2 and 4 i mean 5.4 but 5.4 that's kind of shitty engine for the ford there's a million different problems coming it's strong engine nice 
but it has a lot of different problems. And I think Ford made the right decision. So they eliminate that option with 5.4 engine and they left only 6.2 for this car. That's what it's supposed to be. And I don't understand why, why they put EcoBoost on the new Fords. They didn't, they didn't use 6.2. So it was beautiful 2014 Ford F-150 Raptor SVT. I like this car a lot. Uh, the problem is I cannot join it. I mean, I cannot enjoy it every day because I have a lot of cars to drive. And I hope there is a new car is gonna come soon and I'm gonna film it for you. But for now, thank you so much guys for watching it. Put some comments below if you do have experience with truck like that, especially for the long term. Put some comments below if I'm right or wrong. I think this car gonna last forever. Uh, just by doing maintenance all the time. Thank you so much for watching it, guys. See you next time.